Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Flamingo Finds. Today I have another haul for you. This time it's a Dollar Tree haul. Before I get started with the haul, you know I gotta take a moment to welcome you back. Hey, and if you're new, welcome. First thing I have is just this planner and I think this was um, some leftover from the back to school section. Or actually it was in the calendar section, so I don't think it was meant for back to school. No, I don't think it was because it's a calendar um, for next year. And I grabbed this for my mom. She likes these calendars and she likes this big like space to keep up with her doctor's appointments and things like that. But I grabbed the cutest one that I thought they had and that was just this cute little polka dot one. And she can throw this like in her purse. I also got this big calendar. I grab this every year and I'm trying to hold it so you won't see the glare. But it's just a big desk calendar. I actually hang it on the wall and that way we can keep up with things and make notes of what we need to keep up with. So I grabbed that. Next thing I have um, is this calendar and it says Farmer's Market. And this is the calendar that I wanted. Every year Dollar Tree does really, really cute calendars and I have not been able to get my hands on them. This is the first time that I was able to get my hands on one. And this is Farmer's Market. And as you can see, look how cute each month is. I'm trying to show you without that glare, but each month has a really cute theme to it. And I got this to do crafts. I with. grabbed a pack of this Bubble Mellers and you get two in here. I've been doing a lot more crafty swaps and things like that. So I just needed some more Bubble Mellers. I didn't even realize this was a journal. I, I thought this was a, just a notebook and I grabbed it for myself actually. I don't even know why I did that. But I just, I don't know, I just thought it was cute. It says Boss Babe and it has the little scrunchies on there. I'm gonna open it and see. Even though it says it's a journal, I can still use it for a notebook. And it just says Boss Babe and it's lined. So I can get a lot of use out of it. I also grabbed this very large um, coloring page. And I don't know if you can see, but the background is pink glitter and it's Princess Tiana. I got this for my oldest daughter. She loves Disney. She loves Princess Tiana and she likes to color. So she normally does like the adult coloring, but I still thought this would be fun for her to color. Next, I grabbed this home. Is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. So next I got this home um, sign. It's a ladder. <laughs> And it has this little, um, like eucalyptus branch on the side, but I'll probably like make this a whole lot cuter. I don't know yet if I'm even going to keep the home in it or if I'm going to change it out every season and do something, whatever that season is, like put fall in it for fall and boo for Halloween. But, um, we'll see. We'll see how I do it. I don't even know why I got this. Actually though, this sign is very thick and it's very sturdy. It's thicker than most of their signs. I thought it was really pretty and they had this in white too, but as you can see, my wreath is coming off already. It's supposed to look like this. It doesn't matter because I was going to um, spruce this up anyway. I normally start with the food items. I don't know what's off for me today. I guess I'm off today, but um, I did grab a pack of the Tropical Dum Dums. My youngest daughter was not feeling well and she requested these Dum Dums. And I found this candy corn popcorn. So I grabbed a pack of that to try with my girls. We had two packs and we tried um, one of them and it's pretty good. But I thought it would have like little mini candy corns in it and it doesn't. It just has like the orange and yellow frosting on it. But it was still pretty good though. Next I have a box of puffs because um, we've been going down here. Everybody's been getting sick. So we needed some more tissues, some more face tissues. But I just got this fine liner pen and I grabbed this for myself for my planner. I just like having really neat pens to write with. So I grabbed one of these. So next we're getting into the beauty items. So the first thing I have are these ponytail holders. I don't think I've seen these before, but they're really soft. I don't know if you can tell, but they're really, really soft and stretchy. So I grabbed a pack of these. I um, wish I would have grabbed two packs because they feel really nice. I finally found some of the Brookstone. Um, they've been doing like different manicure kits. Now I've only found the cuticle nippers, but still that's better than nothing because um, it says it's stainless steel too. It seems pretty nice. It has some pretty good weight to it. So I hope I find the other packs of this. Next, I have this Freeman um, Foot Cracked Heel Cream. I really wish they would have put this out at the beginning of the summer, you know, get your feet ready for your toes to be out. But I guess it's still good to try it now. So I grabbed, um, I can actually grab several of these because these are gonna make some really good gifts. I grabbed this coconut charcoal mask and I think I grabbed about two or three of these because once again, Christmas is on my brain and I feel like these will make some really nice Christmas gifts. And this is a detoxifying sheet mask. It feels really thick, it feels nice So, And this is the Palmer's brand. I also grabbed like three of these Yardley soaps. It's the sensitive skin. 
I um had a hard time finding these. I only found these at one Dollar Tree. Walmart around me does not sell them anymore, and my daughter has really sensitive skin, but her skin doesn't. Um, this soap yardly does not bother her skin at all. I grabbed, like I said, I grabbed four of them. I'm pretty sure I grabbed four of them to kind of stock up on for her. Yeah, they smell really good. I grabbed this soft soap. I don't think I've seen this in this um, size container before, but this is soothing clean and oh it's aloe vera scent i was looking for the scent and it just says fresh aloe vera aloe vera and i thought these were neat so i just grabbed a couple of these and the last thing i grabbed in beauty to me is really really neat and it's this nyx and it says duo chromatic duo chromatic chromatique lipstick i i just thought that was neat and the color is kind of um uh, let me see what the color says it says bless adorable that doesn't make bless adorable that kind of doesn't make sense but i'm gonna try this on because i love trying on the, the makeup that's what it looks like open and the tip of it kind of is already broken but look how pretty that is i'm gonna try it on it looks like swatched oh that's a different color i didn't think it was gonna be that pigmented i thought it was be more like a clear like top coat color uh, uh, i probably won't be wearing this it'll be perfect for halloween though yeah, this would be good for Halloween. Wear it for Halloween. I'm looking at myself with this purpley, shimmery lipstick on. It is cracking me up. But that is the end of this haul. This lipstick is, it's it's funny to me. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Should I wear this out? Should I try it with lip liner? What, what, what would you do? Y'all, I can't get over this lipstick. Next haul, next shop with me. Bye.